So I was given permission to fly Mach 3.3. You could call this Air Force veteran a real-life Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. Mach 3.2 is just over 2,100 miles an hour. Lieutenant Colonel Ed Yielding knows what it's like to fly faster than a speeding bullet. When I was a kid, back in 1955, Superman was all the rage on TV. And uh, my next door neighbor and I used to pretend to be Superman and fly faster than a speeding bullet. So <laughs> and you've actually done it. So we actually, actually did it. Uh, Mach 3.3 is faster than a 30 out 6 muzzle velocity. So we're faster than a rifle bullet. You look like a spaceman going inside it. Is that fair to say? And so if you lose cockpit pressure above 63,000 feet, uh, your blood starts to boil. And so it always ruins your whole day whenever your blood starts boiling. So, so our pressure suit was really a safety backup. For six years, this pilot flew the super secret SR-71 Blackbird. Among his most memorable missions, a string of speed records, still unbroken decades later. St. Louis to Cincinnati was eight minutes and 32 seconds. If that sounds fast, consider a passenger plane can fly coast to coast in five and a half hours. Try a record setting 67 minutes and 54 seconds on March 6th, 1990. Kansas City to DC was 25 minutes and 59 seconds. The stealthy aircraft carried both pilot and navigator, yielding and the late JT Vita together clocked more than 2,000 hours in the Blackbird cockpit and flew the last mission for a plane now on display in the Smithsonian. We were just lucky, just fortunate to be the crew, crew that day. You give the credit to the airplane. Absolutely. The spotlight on that final flight, a contrast to the many top secret missions lasting anywhere from two to eight hours at 80,000 feet, more than 15 miles high in the sky. The SR-71 was built to be a reconnaissance jet, the world's fastest, highest flying airplane, so that we would not be shot down in flying in dangerous areas of the world. And what places did you take pictures of? keeping a close watch on the Soviet Union. Uh, also, border reconnaissance uh, in the uh, north, around the North Korea area, Cuba. Those were the main, main places. I don't know a lot about the t targets themselves because we were not briefed on what the targets were. We were briefed on where they were. I never even got to see the pictures that we took. We would land and they would take the film and take it to an area that we were not uh, clear to be in. As far as I know, I've never been shot at either. <laughs> as, <laughs> as far as you know. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Developed in the 1950s, 32 Blackbirds, costing $34 million apiece with an hourly fuel cost of almost $18,000, remained a surveillance staple across almost three decades. And because of advances in spy satellites and unmanned reconnaissance planes, to save money, they decided to retire the Blackbird, which we were really disappointed because we, you know, we love flying it so much and we felt like we're still important for our country. This real-life Superman doesn't wear a cape, but take note of his lapel pin. The only pilots with them have topped Mach 3, three times the speed of sound at more than 2,200 miles an hour. And I was 15 years old when I first learned about the Blackbird, and I thought, man, I'd love to fly that plane someday. And so it was a dream come true.